Now behind me, Chef Derry Clark is cooking with an ancient oil grown in the shadow of Newgrange in County Meath, where a former Attorney General and his son have revitalised a very old seed on their farm. Mary Fanning went to meet them. It's planting season at Crewbawn Farm, ancient and fertile soil in the Boyne Valley. Land that is surrounded by megalithic passages in the shadow of the 5,000-year-old Newgrange World Heritage Site. Land that was farmed in the Stone Age, but being farmed now by two men of the law, former Attorney General John Rogers and his barrister stroke farmer's son, Jack, with a love of agriculture and diversification. It's a bit of a passion, you know, it's like a drug, uh, really. You get, in, you get caught with land, you walk it, you feel, uh, you get to know it, and you um, want to mind it. Like, people don't really realise, land just didn't fall out of the sky, it's made. It has to be made by people. So, land is precious, and um, I'm sort of caught up a bit in land. I like being caught up in it. It gets me out, uh, you know, doing something completely different from what I do in the so-called day job. New Grange Gold rapeseed oil is highly regarded in the kitchens of Ireland and the UK. But now, the father and son team have reintroduced the Camelina seed to Ireland. It disappeared in the 40s and they're growing it along with their rapeseed oil enterprise, processing it and have brought it to market. If you have land in this country, I think the way to go is to diversify, give added value to whatever product you can take out of the ground and give that added value in your own farm if you can. And that's what we're, we've been trying to do. We've been trying to develop, say, for instance, flavours of rapeseed oil. And now with the camelina oil, we have a completely new and I, we believe a health-giving oil that hasn't been on the market in Ireland before. In fact, it's, you, you can barely get it in Britain, I believe. So we're cr trying to create new product out of the soil of the Boyne Valley. The Camelina seed has excited the team at Crew Bon. This ancient oil is rich in omega-3, and they believe an important and beneficial product that they wish to make available to everyone. Jack got the seeds from a neighbour on a Thiagish enterprise okay, the and they realised then this was a very special product. Newgrange Gold Rapeseed was already doing well, so they pressed the Camelina seed and were delighted with the result. They developed a website, chased chefs and nutritionists to fully understand the richness of Camelina and its health benefits. Yeah, well, Camelina is a new oil and um, we feel that we have to really kind of educate the, the public about what it is and especially the benefits that come with it. So we basically decided to take a different tack to the other companies um, that might be producing oils in Ireland and we decided to go and get a nutritionist and really kind of put ourselves out there as the educators as to how oil should be used and um, what the benefits are and really just explain that story. Lucy Highland, nutritionist and chef, is part of the Crewbon team. She's developed a number of recipes and dips and is trying to educate on the correct way to use this ancient oil. That's it. Now you want to use a small amount, so about a teaspoon to a dessert spoon. Perfect. Yep. That'll do. And now we coat all of the vegetables with the oil. So get your hands in there, mix all of the ingredients oh, oh, oh. around, get the garlic, get everything infused really and working to get really mix it up. So this uh, as a chef nutritionist, I've completely fallen in love with the oil. Its flavour is so intense, so nutty, so earthy. It's a really great oil to use by itself yeah, or to add in so to dressings so, yeah, or salads. Yeah. So see, economically, this is very good because you're not using as much camelina oil. Perfect. New Grange Gold Rapeseed Oil is already an established player and John Rogers developed his own processing plant on the farm. He designed it and built it. The family followed through the entire processing stage to the end. These two tanks are called settling tanks and this is where the magic basically happens. During five days or thereabouts, the oil slowly settles and all the heavier stuff kind of settles to the bottom. Well, at the outset when I started pressing the oil and realised what was in it, I realised that 
there are other products on the market which are really uh, the equivalent of it and which are quite expensive and which you'd only get in health food shops. And I made a decision that if we were going to put Camelina out there on the market, we would try to put it on every shelf. There's really good stuff in it. It's good for you. So why should you have to go somewhere special to get it? That passion is replicated in the education programme Newgrange Gold has set out on with their team. They believe it's a very special ancient product with excellent health qualities. So the new story, a Crewbon farm, has begun. Chefs. Um, people with chef personalities are now using our oil. So it's fabulous uh, that the plan we had to put it out there so that it would be ubiquitous is now happening. Derry, you walk away there now and I'll uh, yeah, yeah, interrupt. Yeah, yeah. You don't mind, do you? No, 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 no. Keep going. We've just seen the, the oil being produced. What's it like to cook with? Brilliant. The, the Camelina oil is really good. Um, Can I get some uh, from New Grange Gold. And we use it in the restaurant. It's got a very high um, cooking temperature. It's about 245 degrees, uh -huh. I think. Um, really nutty. Oh, it is. And that looks gorgeous. gorgeous.